non-membranous organelles, ribosomes. Ribosomes are small, rounded or oval cytoplasmic organelles. Site. Ribosomes may be freely distributed in mitochondrial matrix or cytoplasm, as in case of free ribosomes, or attached to membranes of endoplasmic reticulum and the outer nuclear membrane, as in attached ribosomes. Structure By light microscope, ribosomes appear as minute peripheric granules, which may be either diffusely distributed in the cytoplasm, causing diffuse pisophilia, as in case of free ribosomes, or localized distributed in the cytoplasm, causing localized pisophilia, as in attached ribosomes, as seen in the initial granules of nerve cells, which are formed of detached portions of rough endoplasmic reticulum with some attached ribosomes. By electron microscope, ribosomes are formed of two subunits, a large and a small one. Magnesium iron is needed to prevent the separation of the two subunits. The large subunit of ribosome is formed of two parts separated by a polypeptide chain. Origin and chemical composition or molecular biology. Ribosomes are formed in the nucleolus and pass to the cytoplasm through the pores of the nuclear membrane. Ribosomes are made of ribonucleic acid combined with a protein, forming ribonucleoprotein. Functions of ribosomes Ribosomes are concerned with the synthesis of protein. They are only active when they are attached to messenger ribonucleic acid. Free ribosomes are concerned with the synthesis of protein for cell growth and regeneration. On the other hand, attached ribosomes are concerned with the synthesis of protein for secretory activity, that is, the formation of secretory granules. Modifications Free ribosomes often occur in groups called polysomes or polyribosomes, in which they are connected together by a thread of ribonucleic acid called messenger ribonucleic acid. On the other hand, attached ribosomes form microsomes, which are fragments of endoplasmic reticulum with ribosomes attached to it. Centriores are small cytoplasmic organelles. Site. Centrioles are usually located near the nucleus. In some cells, centrioles are located between the nucleus and the free surface of the cell, or between the nucleus and the Golgi complex. Structure. By light microscope, two centrioles are usually present in the non-dividing cells and together form the diplosome. Centrioles usually appear as small bodies or granules after staining with iron hematoxylate. Centrioles are surrounded with a specialized area of cytoplasm called centrosome. By electron microscope, the centrioles appear as two cylinders perpendicular to each other. The wall of each centriole is made of nine peripheral bundles of microtubules, nine plus zero. Each bundle is made of three fused microtubules, triplets, thus the wall of each centriole is formed of 27 microtubules. Functions of centriole Initiation of cell division and spindle formation. Centriole 
is surrounded by an amorphous electron dense area of cytoplasm, which acts as an organizing center for polymerization and initiation of microtubules. Functions provided by its modifications or specializations, cilia and flagella. Modifications of centriole. Formation of cilia and flagella. Cilia are motile hair-like processes. Sight. Cilia are present on the free surfaces of some epithelial cells as in the respiratory tract. Structure. By light microscope, cilia may be single or occur in large numbers and are readily demonstrated in hematoxylin and eosine preparations by light microscope. By electron microscope, cilia are covered by a plasma limb and consist of axoneme or shaft, basal body, and rootlet. Axoneme or shaft is a protoplasmic core of cytoplasm containing 20 microtubules. Nine peripheral pairs of used microtubules, duplets, forming a ring around a central pair of individual microtubules. Nine plus two. Radial projections or spokes extend from the duplets to the central pair of microtubules. Basal body, on the other hand, has the same structure as the centriole, that is, the wall of the basal body consists of nine triplet microtubules, nine plus zero. Rootlet are anchoring microtubules from the basal body to the cytoplasm to fix the cilia. Functions. Cilia beat in one direction to help the movement of particles or fluids from one place to another. Flagella are other forms of motile appendages. Sight, they form the tails of sperms help their movements. Structure, flagella are similar to cilia in structure but longer and larger. Cytoskeleton is another form of cytoplasmic organelle, constitutes the structural framework of the cell. Cytoskeleton maintains the cell shape, stabilizes cell attachments, and plays a role in motility. Cytoskeleton includes microtubules, microfilaments, and microtrapicular leads. Comparison between microtubules and microfilaments. Sight. Microtubules are rigid structures found in all cells, present either singly or in groups. Microfilaments are also found in most cells, present either singly or in groups. Structure. By light microscope, microtubules are difficult to be seen and appear as filaments. Also, microfilaments are difficult to be seen and appear as fine threads after staining with silver. By electron microscope, microtubules appear as long slender, slightly curved, fibrillar, non-branching tubules. Their walls consist of parallel protein filaments and they appear as circles in cross sections, as the central zone is electron lucid, so they appear to be hollow. Microtubules are formed of protein tubulin, which occurs in alpha and beta forms. This constitutes their molecular biology or chemical composition. By electron microscope, three types of microfilaments are distinguishable. Thick filaments of myosin present in muscle cells, thin filaments of actin also present in muscle cells, and intermediate filaments, which include 
five types indistinguishable structurally but can be identified by immunohistochemical means and are present in all tissues of the body. Keratin or tonofilaments present in epithelial cells and are associated with desmosome and cell attachments. Vimentin filaments present in fibroblasts and mesenchymal cells in connective tissue help cytoplasm. This mean filaments in all forms of muscles form a framework that links myofibers together and provide mechanical integration. Neurofilaments in nerve cells provide support for lung processes. Glial filaments in neuroglial cells of the central nervous system also are supporting for their respective cell types. Functions. Microtubules form the skeleton of the cell, cytoskeleton, thus preserve the cell shape. Microtubules help motility of the cilia and flagella. They form spindle during cell division. Also, they are concerned with the transport of substances within the cytoplasm. On the other hand, microfilaments are concerned with the fine movements, muscle contraction, movements of the cytoplasm, amoeboid movements of the leukocytes, movements of the microvilli, separation of the cytoplasm during cell division. Microtrapicular lattice is a meshwork of three-dimensional framework present in the ground substance, which links organelles and coordinates the metabolic activities of the cell by directing proteins to their specific regions. Cell inclusions or cytoplasmic deposits. They are non-living contents of the cytoplasm which may be present or absent not essential for vitality of the cell. They include stored food, pigments, secretory granules, and crystals. Stored food, carbohydrates, they are stored in the form of glycogen, as in liver and muscle cells. They appear as red granules after staining with bescarmine or berber granules after staining with periodic acid shift reaction. By electron microscope, glycogen granules are either alpha granules, which represent groups of very electron dense small granules clumped to form rosettes, as in liver cells, or beta granules, which are a regular electron dense small single granules found in muscle cells. Lipids. They are stored chiefly in fat cells, but also many other cell types store lipid droplets of various sizes. Lipids are stored either in the form of small droplets as in case of multilocular fat cells or large globules as in unilocular fat cells. Lipids dissolve in alcohol during hematoxylin and eosine preparation and they appear as empty spaces. They can be demonstrated by other stains, orange by Sudan 3 or black by Sudan black. Pigments are either endogenous formed inside the body or exogenous formed outside the body. Endogenous pigment, melanin pigment, is present in the skin and eye to protect against ultraviolet rays. Hemoglobin is the most important and essential pigment in the body, present in RBCs to carry oxygen and carbon dioxide. It is broken into hemozydrine, which is an iron-containing pigment, which later forms pyloropin, a non-iron-containing pigment. Lipofoxin, 
is light brown in color found in nerve cells and heart muscles, representing waste products, and is considered the end product of lysosomal activity. Lipofoxin increases with age, and it is called wear and tear pigment. Exogenous pigments come from outside the body, as dust and carbon particles found in dust cells of the lung, tattoo marks found in the skin, carotene ingested with food as carrots and tomatoes cause carotinemia, which is yellow color of the skin as a result of too much ingestion of carrots, minerals as silver and lead may be demonstrated in phagocytic cells of the liver. Secretion granules include mucus, serous secretion, hormones, proteins, and so on. Crystals, as crystals of calcium carbonate.